Hey, it's uh, Monday, February 26th. Hard to believe we're in the last week of February. Hopefully I have the right uh, week here. Anyway, uh, second week of, it's the second week in Lent. So how's your Lent going? Anyway, it's regardless. So I'd like to read from Daniel chapter 9, beginning 4. Lord, great and awesome God, you, you who keep your merciful covenant to, <coughs> to those who love you and observe your commandments, we have sinned been wicked, done evil. We have rebelled and departed from your commandments and your laws. We have not obeyed your servants, the prophets. We have spoken your name to our kings, our princes, our fathers, and all the people of the land. Justice, O Lord, is on your side. We are shamefaced even to this day. Wow. I read this little story here, and it said, my, this is not me speaking, but the story, a little quip I read, found. My friend at the singles club was with Blithely chatting away, oblivious to the fact that her name tag had slipped down over her <clears throat> breast. I asked her another friend if I should say something to her. Like what? She asked. What she named the the other one? <laughs> Sorry. Uh, maybe that's not too appropriate, but it's, it's unawareness. And you know, we're unaware of our uh, shortcomings sometimes. We call our shadow side, just back because we're talking about that. But one thing here in our reading is to open a, open, a wit, open witness to his own faults, right? Daniel speaks, we have sinned, been wicked, done evil, rebelled, departed from your commandments. We have not obeyed your prophets, spoken your name to the king. Wow. We are shamefaced even to this day. Sometimes I think our problem is that we don't know, we don't know what our problem is. And uh, we don't feel like that somehow we think we're better than we are, that I'm a good person. You may be good at some level, but we all have sin. And one of the graces in life is humility to know yourself, which is the good side of yourself, the good points, of course, but also to know your sins, to own your sin. Only when you own them can you receive forgiveness, when you can confess them. So just Lent, take a look at yourself, a good look. I'm sure we're not as good as we probably think we are. And we come with humble hearts, admitting, Lord, I have sinned and sinned often. God bless you.